Okay, are you ready for trunks and branches today? We are going to try a technique using a little bit of stiff paper here to add our trunks in right now for our aspen trees. What I have here is just a little bit of white paint and a little bit of black paint. I'm not mixing it all up together into one shade of gray. I want it to be a little bit uh, separate so that we can still see the black and the white. So I'm tapping this in. This is gonna be kind of like if we were painting with a palette knife. And I don't have one handy to show you. I wish I did. Uh, but this, we do not have palette knives, so we're gonna try this. So I'm just tapping this now into my black to get a little bit of black on there. And so if you want, if you wanna have a, take a scrap paper and try this technique out first. Let's see, I'm gonna grab this paper. I'm gonna put my little painting aside. It's still dry from before. So I'm just gonna slide this over a little bit. And you can see that makes a little trunk. And if you think about how aspen trees have that white, beautiful white bark and some black markings on them, that looks like a pretty good replica. But just notice, I am taking my time. I'm just putting it down and bringing it over. And if it doesn't show all the way, you can just take this, tap it down a little bit to finish that off. Or just leave it because we're going to be adding some foliage, some leaves in there on our, during our next class. And that's going to take care of that. So, and please do not... But don't get upset or worried if you try this on your nice painting and you're not happy with the result. Let me know. And we are going to figure out a solution. So you can cut these. If, they, if you want your trunks to be shorter, you can cut them. You can use this little edge if you want really short or if you want to use this same technique for some branches. I'm going to show you another idea for branches too. And I'm just going to go ahead and let this go off my page a little bit. So I'm just pulling that over. And you can see it I kind of did end up in the grass, so that's totally fine with me. I'm going to flip this, see if we have some paint on the other side. Slowly, carefully. So let's get a little bit more on here. Again, I'm tapping, kind of moving this back and forth just to pick up a little bit of paint here. Let's try another one. I think mine are shorter than I intended just because I didn't get my paint all the way. See right there that some people might say, oh no, that's a mess up. I'm not too worried about that. I'm just gonna go back the other direction. I realize that's a little tricky going to my left, so I could turn this upside down and that would probably have been a little easier. But I think that's totally fine. Getting a little more paint over here off camera. And another one. Mine's getting a little, I'm getting a little bit of paint on the other side. That's why that's getting a little bit off. Again, I am not worried about perfect. So I have some trunks there, and I can put a lot if I want, or I can just put a couple. Let's see, maybe I'm going to do one more over here, and you can see I'm turning this upside down just so that I don't have to worry about smearing those other ones that I had. If your cardboard gets really messy, or your stiff paper, you can put that aside and get another one if you'd like. I'm gonna try, I'm actually gonna grab my Kleenex and wipe some of this excess paint off, just so it's not in my way. And I'm gonna try to use this little edge to make a couple of thicker branches. A lot of aspen branches look just very dark and to me, so we can, and they're kind of um, not super straight, a lot of them, so I'm gonna do a lot most of my branches in a different way, but I could do this if I wanted to put a couple in. All right, so now what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna take my paintbrush, and now I'm gonna use a little bit of water to thin this down. Oops, hold this so you can see it. 
just a tiny bit and if my if whoever I'm sharing paint with is still doing branches I might move just a little paint over to the side so that I can do that without messing up their paint and so I am just going to do some really skinny little lines here and you see I'm making them a little bit wiggly. I have noticed a lot of branches on aspen trees that I've observed that do look kind of wiggly. And I got some darker there. So you can vary your how dark it is too. And I didn't get it totally mixed up so that I can still have a little bit of variation in there. Again, don't worry if you do something and you feel like, wow, that's a big mess up. Don't worry about that because these are not done. We are going to have some beautiful color added in during our next class. You can also see my tops of my trees look very unfinished. I'm not worried about that either. I am going to just probably have a lot of foliage and leaves up there. If yours do look more finished up top, and you think, wow, those look so good. I want some of that to show. You can put fewer leaves. And that will be totally fine. So right here, this edge is just a little bit bothering me. So I'm going to take my brush and kind of bring that in a little bit. So it's not such a hard edge. And a quick reminder, also while I'm doing this, something that I did not tell you or remind you is just push those long sleeves up and be really careful of your clothing. You can wear a smock or an apron if you have on nice clothing. And so I'm going to leave this just like this until our next class when we are going to get to add in that beautiful foliage. So carefully we're gonna again quick reminder if you are in charge of washing brushes and probably everybody will be at some point this is one left in from uh, another painting session we're just gonna hold these under we're gonna gather our cups take them to the sink hold our cup with our brushes in it under the running water swirl as the water flows in. I don't have a sink here to demonstrate that, but we're going to use our imaginations. Water's flowing in. I dump this dirty water out, let some clean water in, rub, 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 and then I'll check. If my brushes still need a little attention, then I can hold them directly under the running water and just rub it like you're giving it washing your hair just give a little rub another clean rinse and we always always store our brushes in the cup bristles up so that they stay nice looking forward to seeing your beautiful beautiful paintings